Hello everybody, it's me, Artsy Tangles. I'm back. <laughs> That's very exciting. Um, so today I just wanted to make a nice simple video. Um, I just filmed a role play. That's going to be being posted tonight, so that's super exciting. And then I'm also going to be posting this. Um, so in this video, I want to keep it nice and easy. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit of book review. I have three books that I'm going to be recommending, all different genres. Um, so I'm a really voracious reader. Last year I read probably 51 books. Um, and then currently I've read about 30 books this year. So I love to read. Um, all different genres. Um, as someone who really has a passion for literature, I take a lot of English classes at school, so I've read a ton of different literature, but really my favorite genre everyone knows is romance. The pandemic really made me fall back in love with romance, and that's really what I look forward to, what I read for pleasure, but I also love um, true crime. I love domestic thrillers, psychological thrillers, um, and then I, I love poetry, so it really is all across the board. So I don't own a lot of books physically because I read at such a quick pace. Um, at school, I probably read about a book a week. So it wouldn't really make sense for me to own every single romance novel that I read. So I read most of them on my computer, usually through my Kindle. Um, but these are a few of the books that I own physically. Um, I've gotten them all as gifts. So I thought it'd be perfect to kind of show them off and recommend them to you. So the first book we have is a hardcover. This is Jeanette McCurdy's very famous now um, memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died. Um, for those who aren't familiar with Jeanette McCurdy, um, really depends on your age bracket. Like I'm familiar with Jeanette McCurdy. I watched iCarly growing up, but I know a lot of people didn't. She was a child star um, who really made a name for herself on the Nickelodeon sitcom iCarly. She was kind of the quirky best friend character, the comedic relief. Um, and really what this book is, is a very dark, very real exploration of parental abuse, um, of what it means to be exploited in Hollywood, what it means to have to struggle with things like an eating disorder, how to struggle with um, abusive relationships, while also kind of dealing with a parental figure who is a narcissist, and then what happens when that person dies and how you grapple with the fact that you loved someone and they weren't a good person and they were abusive to you but you still love them you know they're still your family and that is a really interesting dynamic that I don't think I was very familiar with but Jeanette explores in here and this is a very very dark book I would say um if you have even for myself I was just shocked by the the, the levels here um it was a great read it wasn't super long but if you're at all triggered by by kind of abusive or toxic family structures, um, post-traumatic stress disorder discussions, OCD, um, as well as there were elements of, of physical and sexual abuse in this book as well, um, by both parental figures and by other adults in Jeanette's life. Um, if anyone is interested at all, I'm very interested in kind of Hollywood and the way child stars are treated, and that's really what drew me to this book, is I'm someone who, for a long time, I've listened to a lot of podcasts, I've done a lot of digging about Nickelodeon and, and the corruption and the abuse that, that happened at the hands of Dan Schneider. If that interests you at all, this was really interesting, um, especially now that seeing how they've managed to pivot and Silly 101 is getting rebooted and iCarly is on its third season of its reboot on Paramount+. Plus. So it's very interesting because Jeanette offers a very honest lens behind the scenes because she's out of Hollywood now. Um, but just trigger warning for all of those things. I think there are more that I just can't think of. I read this in January. Um, but I highly, if you're willing to handle that, if you're prepared, highly, highly recommend. So pivoting from that, we have a true, not a true crime, a, um, what would I call this? This is, this is a domestic thriller. This is a, a, a crime novel. Um, this is called All Good People Here. It's by Ashley Flowers. Um, I think she, she's a host. I've never listened to her podcast of Crime Junkie. So I had never listened to Crime Junkie. My true crime podcast, I really just listen to Crime Weekly with um, Stephanie Harlow and, and Derek. They're my favorites. Um, but I Crime Junkie is huge if you're a fan of Crime Junkie. She's one of the co-hosts, so she comes in obviously with a lot of, of true crime knowledge, a lot of experience with cases. And all the people here 
is a really interesting dual timeline story um, about a journalist who comes home to her small town, things, she's down on her luck, she has to kind of take care of her, her uncle who's ill, um, she's looking for a job, she's looking for a scoop, and she's always been haunted by her childhood friend who was murdered. And really, this book, I, I really wanted to buy it, and I had it on my TBR because it is very lo strongly, not loosely, very strongly inspired by the John A. Ramsey case, which if you've ever been on my channel, you know, is really one of my, the cases that I find the most fascinating. And I, if it's anything about John Bonet, I will consume it all. Um, but if that interests you at all, kind of a, a spin on the John Bonet Ramsey story, it goes into a lot of the theories and um, it's, it's really interesting. The ending, I was not super satisfied by, I'll be honest, gave it four stars because of the ending. The writing is very gripping, especially for someone's first ever novel. Um, Ashley Flowers does a really good job here, and I think she's writing more. So if you want a nice kind of crime detective story, um, I love a story where the, the main character is a journalist. I always have. I think it's what drew me to so many of James Renner's works. Um, this is a great first novel for you to pick up. And then briefly, I wanted to end this book rack video with one of my favorite books of 2022. Um, the Rapid Draft. This is by Emily Wibberley and Austin Sigmund Broca. They're married in real life. Um, I bought this, or no, didn't buy this book. I had it on my list because it was recommended to me by one of my favorite um, booktube reviewers. Her name is Chandler Ainsley. Chandler read this and really enjoyed it. This is another dual timeline. I love a dual timeline. It's a story about two authors who have to come back together after years of fraught separation um, to write their sequel novel. Their first novel they wrote together was huge, super successful, and now their publishers want a new one, but they're in very different places in life. There's a lot of tension between them. Um, and this was such a... I love books about authors and books about writing and books about books. Um, and this combined that with really a beautiful, gorgeous love story. Um, there's a lot of angst in here. I also love this idea of like the, of the partnership. I love a partner's mentor to, you know, people who are friends to lovers, friends to lovers, one of my favorite tropes. This was beautiful. Um, I will say if you're not someone who's a big fan of cheating, um, I don't usually have issues with cheating in romance novels, but there is cheating in here. Um, so that bothers you but loved this book i highly recommend it um it was such an easy read i read it in one day an easy read beautiful writing style just there was angst there was tension but there also was this beautiful prose and a really gripping wonderful love story told in two timelines um so i really could not recommend this more these two these two authors actually just wrote another book it was a marriage in trouble um, story. So if you enjoy those, I'm kind of getting into some kind of second chance, you know, couples getting back together stories. But if you like any of those, this author duo is for you. And I highly recommend The Roughest Draft. You would really enjoy it. So those are three books that I recommend. Um, please, you know, like this video, comment. Um, I have a lot more book content I want to make. Um, and I hope you enjoy the role play that I'm posting today. And we'll talk soon. Bye.